Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is going wonderful. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we're going to create a Halloween card for Pretty Pink Posh. We're using the Monster Hugs stamp set. I also have the coordinating dies. Um, and then we're going to be using a stencil that I haven't showed you guys. This is part of the new release, um, but it's a fun stencil. It's a three-piece stencil that has clouds, stars, and bats. Now you can use them great on their own or you can layer them together. I think the clouds with the stars would be a cute little baby sky background or even a night sky background for any occasion. But then you add the bats and it creates a little spooky sky. So, and then just the clouds alone are great um, for everyday cards. So nice little stencil set. We'll be using this on our project today. Um, let's jump in and do a little bit of stamping with our monster hugs. I've mentioned this before, but I love monsters. I just think they're so, so fun and universal. They'd make great birthday cards and also little um, Valentines would be awesome too with these, these little guys. Um, for today, we're going to make a Halloween card. So we're going to stamp three of them. I'm using an alcohol marker friendly cardstock. I just taped it down to my Misty. I prefer taping sometimes versus using the magnet. And I wasn't sure which uh, which third one to use. And I think we're going to use the, the little round guy. <laughs> I'm going to ink up my monsters with my Memento Tuxedo Black ink. It is an alcohol marker friendly uh, ink. And that's what we're going to be using to color in our images. I left the coloring in for you guys. And I did list the colors that I used on the top right corner. Um, got to ink it up one more time. My, my little ghost wasn't a solid impression here, but I'm going to play a little music while I color. And then when I'm done coloring, guys, I will catch you back. Okay, coloring is all done. And you can see I used some oranges and traditional Halloween colors, orange, purple, and green. Can't go wrong with those colors. I'm gonna go ahead and use my nips and separate my coordinating dies here. I'll tape these down and run these through my die cutting machine. They're really easy to line up. And then we have some cute little critters to go on our card. We'll just tape them down. This little guy has a, a a spine on there I was trying to get nice and even but how fun are these now and I also did decide to stamp one more um, I want an extra color so I stamped that little um, almost rectangle shaped green monster guy there okay I'm bringing in my craft mat for our background we're going to use some blue cardstock 
And really, to create a fun background that I'm going to be doing, you can use any kind of blue cardstock. I'm taking a slightly darker ink that's darker, slightly darker color than my cardstock. This is an oxide ink. It's faded jeans. And basically what I'm just doing is going around the edges with my blending tool, just coloring. We're not even going to color the inside of our panel here, so it's a nice place to twist and turn with the fingers without getting them all inky. <laughs> Once we have the bottom done here, now this is regular cardstock, so it doesn't blend as smooth as Bristol Smooth, but I think it's going to work out great. Now we're going to bring in our black soot. The black soot that I use is um, an oxide ink also, and I'm just using a blending brush to ink up the edges really good. This this is a card front panel, so it's four and a quarter by five and a half inches. So it's gonna entirely cover my card base. Now we're gonna blend them both together just a little bit. And then that is basically our night sky. I went ahead and already sprayed the back of my stencils with pixie spray. And so this way there's a little tackiness behind there and it will stick to my panel. Now for my clouds, I'm bringing, since it's a night sky, I thought I'd bring in my, this is Distress Ink. Um, it is Picket Fence, and this is a well of um, ink pad. Uh, in fact, it's drying out, um, but I'm gonna go with it because I just need a little bit of shading over the clouds to create like a little foggy, smoky look. Um, ideally, if you have a Distress Ink um, refill, that is Picket Fence. I would directly add that refill to your um, your blending brush. That way you don't um, dirty up your ink pad. But let's remove the stencil and check out our clouds. And I think it turned out wonderful. Next, we're gonna go ahead and add our bat stencil. And we're gonna use our black soot and blending brush and just go over those bats all over. The nice thing about the stencils is everything is evenly spaced um, for layering, and I think that's just wonderful. I think that's going to be just fine. We're going to go ahead and remove this, and we have a really fun background. I love the way this turned out. It does take a little bit of time to dry, so we'll set this aside, um, and in the meantime, I'm going to grab one of my die sets. This is the Stitched Duo 3 die set. Um, I'm going to be using the panel piece in this die set to create a window on my project here. I'm just going to place it a little bit towards the top of my card front panel and then die cut it out. This way we have a window pane on our background. I'm going to flip over my panel now and we're going to add foam adhesive behind the entire background. Now I did something not so good at this point. Before you add foam adhesive, you'd want to go ahead and stamp your sentiment. Um, I'm, I'm going to take a chance and stamp it after. We'll see how it goes. I might have to redo the background, but we'll see. <laughs> I have a piece of yellow cardstock. We're going to go ahead and adhere that directly to our A2 size card base. Then I remove the release paper off of my foam tape and we're going to add that directly to the front of our card base. This way we have a little bit of dimension in that background. And I kind of got a little lump in there so I'm going to lift it up and, and repress it <laughs> carefully. Okay, next I'm going to add some foam adhesive behind each one of my monsters. And I thought it would be fun if each one of these were hanging out of one of the panes in the window. So we'll just remove the release paper here and add our last one, which is the ghost. And I just think they're so fun. Okay, now we need our sentiment. For the sentiment, there's a, some... Um, block letter sentiments in the stamp set, but I just love the sending monster hugs. So I'm going to treat the front of my panel with my anti-static powder tool and take a chance and stamp directly on my card front. Let's go over our panel and then I'll put my, um, my sentiment on my acrylic block. We'll ink it up with some Versamark ink. Since our background's pretty dark, I wanted to emboss it with some white embossing powder. So we're going to go ahead and 
stamp this. Usually when I do this, I get my sentiments crooked. And you know what? I got really lucky because one, I got a full solid image and two, um, I didn't get it crooked. So it's a good day. <laughs> Let's go over a sentiment with some white embossing powder. We're going to go ahead and remove the excess and then take our heat gun and we'll melt that embossing powder so it just stands out against that night sky background. Okay, I don't want to add any bells and whistles to this card, but I do want to add a little dimension to these guys' eyes. Um, I mentioned a while back that these would be cute for googly eyes, but I wanted to show you another option that I always like to do. Well, I haven't did it in a while, but I want to show you. These are Nouveau Crystal Drops. I have white and black. Now, basically all you're going to do is add white to the eyes of the monster. Now, you want to be real careful. If you blend these two together, um, their eyes will look really funny. But I'm going to go ahead and kind of do a little tapping. Once my the white of my eyes are added, I can go ahead and add a little dot of black. And it's so neat what it does. It's, it actually kind of blends with the white and flattens. So it makes it look real smooth. Um, and I did that to all of the eyes. I brought in my stamp set to make sure I was stamping in the right place. But the camera can't pick it up too well, so I did take a still shot to show you the dimension that this adds. It's such a fun effect, and I hope you guys can give this a try. I am going to go over my ghost eyes. I colored them in green, so I did go over it with my glossy accents. But that's my project today. I hope you get a chance to check out the brand new Pretty Pink Posh release. It's pretty fun. Have a great day, and we will see you again real soon, guys. Bye-bye.